Did you know that you can reduce your risk of developing dementia by 20% in about five minutes if you're 50 years of age or older? Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley, and today I'm gonna to talk about new reasons why you should get the latest shingles vaccine, also known as Shingrix. Getting the shingles vaccine is probably the easiest thing that you can do to significantly lower your risk of developing dementia, yet only about 30% of eligible adults in the US have received the full two-dose series. The current shingles vaccine is recommended for all adults ages 50 years or older, even if you never had chickenpox as a child, uh, if you had the varicella vaccine as a child, or if you previously had shingles. This vaccine is over 90% effective in preventing reactivation of the varicella zoster virus, or VZV, which causes chickenpox as a child. It's estimated that greater than 90% of the world's population has a latent or inactive VZV infection. In addition, one in three people who do not receive a shingles vaccine will develop shingles. Shingles is bad enough, but 10 to 20% of those who develop shingles can later develop post herpetic neuralgia, which can cause severe and chronic nerve pain. In my mind, that's reason enough to get the shingles vaccine. However, more recent data shows that the shingles vaccine can also help protect against dementia. In at least five to 10 observational studies, those who received the shingles vaccine lowered their risk of developing dementia by 20 to 35 percent. The strongest evidence yet came from two natural experiments done in 2024 and 2025 showing about a 20 percent reduction in dementia risk in those who received the shingles vaccine. So how can a vaccine prevent dementia? First, by preventing reactivation of varicella zoster virus, it can lower the level of chronic inflammation in the brain. We used to believe that Alzheimer's dementia was primarily related to progressive accumulation of amyloid beta plaque in the brain. Recent data shows that chronic neuroinflammation and viral infections in the brain can also be contributing to the onset of dementia. There are certain neurotrophic viruses, meaning vi uh, viruses that travel to the brain, which are known to infect brain cells, including two human herpes viruses, varicella zoster virus and herpes simplex type one, or HSV1. Unlike other viruses, such as influenza, herpes viruses are incredibly difficult for your body to get rid of. This is primarily because the viral DNA is able to enter the nucleus of a long-lived cell in your body and hide in a dormant state for decades. Then it can become reactivated when you're older and less able to fight off viral infections. The viral DNA starts assembling new viral particles, which can then travel along sensory nerves to the skin, causing the painful rash of shingles. And this is in the case of VZV. As a neurotrophic virus, activated VZV can also travel to your brain. Microglia, the innate immune cells of the brain, recognize these foreign invaders and produce inflammatory cytokines, causing chronic inflammation. This tends to increase the production of amyloid beta plaque and hyperphosphorylated tau proteins, which are the hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease pathology. There are other ways that the shingles vaccine can help prevent dementia. VZV is known to directly infect cerebral blood vessels, causing a condition called vasculopathy, which can also increase the risk of vascular dementia. In addition, the shingles vaccine may offer cross-reactive immune protection against other human herpes viruses, such as HSV-1. There's a strong association between chronic HSV-1 infection and Alzheimer's disease dementia. HSV-1 viral particles have been found in 90% of human brains affected by Alzheimer's dementia. It also appears that chronic HSV-1 infection in the brain can trigger formation of amyloid beta plaque. 
Specific components of the vaccine may also help protect against dementia. The Shingrix vaccine contains glycoprotein E, which is the most abundant glycoprotein on the surface of EZV infected cells. It also contains the ASO1 adjuvant, which amplifies your body's immune response against this antigen. In a recent study, the ASO1 adjuvant appeared to prote uh, provide additional protection against dementia. So don't forget to get the shingles vaccine once you turn 50. It's a given, it's given as a two dose series with the second dose given two to six months after the first. Not only is it greater than 90% effective in preventing shingles and post herpetic neuralgia, it is also the easiest thing that you can do to significantly reduce your risk of de developing dementia later in life. Thank you for listening. I hope this is helpful.